Would you like to know why most AI architectures fail to provide any value? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with over 25 years experience. And in today's video, we're going to talk about why most AI architectures are actually providing zero business value and why we're getting so many architecture failures. Let's face it, the entire world now is in AI architecture mode. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is heavily investing in AI. But the problem is most of these new AI investments will provide no business value. And we're going to talk about why. So what if I told you that the companies now are making the same mistakes with their AI architecture as they did in the early days of cloud computing and say the early days of the internet, the same mistakes. So what's the mistake? Well, there's a massive disconnect between the organization's business needs and the technology solutions being designed by the tech teams. Now that's basically like giving a carpenter the wrong tool and expecting them to do a good job. So how bad is the problem? How bad is the AI architecture problem? Well, Kendra did a very good survey recently, and they surveyed over a thousand uh, business and technology leaders. And 95% of organizations said they're investing in AI, yet only 14% have taken any initiative to successfully align their workforce, meaning their technology, their growth objectives, and their people. Now, which means if the business needs and the technology needs aren't aligned, Realistically speaking, the only companies that'll gain any benefit are the 14% of companies that are actually aligning their people, processes, and technology. As far as the other 8 to 5% of businesses that are doing AI architectures in a haphazard manner, a few will get lucky just by random chance, and the rest will get nothing. Now, unfortunately to me, this feels like deja vu because I remember when people made this mistake in the early days of the internet. I saw it in the early days of cloud computing and it's coming back again with AI architecture. And let's talk about how bad the cloud architecture problem came from when we had uh, business people doing one thing and tech people doing something else. Well, according to the Boston Consulting Group, 80% of cloud transformations to fail to provide any of the desired business outcomes. According to uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers, only 11% of clients that had invested in cloud computing actually achieved their ROI targets. And 70% uh, of cloud costs are typically wasted due to poor architecture's decisions. So when we look at what's going on with cloud computing and poor cloud architectures, we're seeing the same mistakes in AI computing. And it's not just a little, I mean, uh, it's significant. So let's go back to the statistic I shared before from the Kendrell study. 14% of tech leaders have successfully aligned their workforce, their technology, and their growth objectives. Now, that means those are the people that will be successful. So how do you prevent an AI architecture failure? Well, the key to preventing an AI architecture failure, the key to making sure that the technology aligns with the business needs is to begin the architecture process with the company's executives. And when we architects communicate with the company's executives, we learn their business goals, we learn their desires, their competitive landscape. And from there, we can move on to the organization's key stakeholders and learn from their needs. Now, when we learn from the needs of the senior leadership, we can learn the business architecture, how the business operates, for example, any key business processes, any key value streams. So at that point, we architects know how that business works and how that business needs to work. Now, at that point, after understanding the business and understanding the goals, it's effectively like now we have a target. Now we know what we need to do to hit that target. So now that we understand the organization's needs and their business architecture, now we can start looking at their technology system, see what they have, see what's working, see what's not, see what's uh, reached end of life, what have you, what's going to be too hard to maintain in the future. And after we understand what we have, we can now compare it to what we actually need. So the next phase is say, going backwards from what the business needs to determine what we now need in the future and remediate, remediate any gaps between the current state and the future state. Now at that point, when we know what we're doing and we actually know what we have and we've designed our architectures, it gets much easier. 
Now, in most cases, in order to create this architecture, we're going to have to collect some data. We may have to figure out what we need to do, but the point is we need to move on and it has to start with the business. And when we know what the business has and we know what the business needs, that's when we can figure it out. We can go maybe into a new architecture. We could go into a stepwise architecture. For example, maybe an organization wants to do some AI things and maybe in order to do so, they need to upgrade the network. Maybe they need to collect some data or they need to clean up their data along the way. And that's where we can build these transition steps between uh, where they are and where they need to go. Now, once we have the system, once we know what we're going to do, once we have buy-in from the stakeholders, realistically speaking, now it's time to finalize the architecture documents, finalize the architecture repository, create any necessary statements of works, memorandums of understanding, or whatever else is needing. We create a project plan. We typically create a governance structure. We provide employee training and potentially a marketing plan of the new technologies. And that's the secret, aligning people, processes, and technology. That's the secret to digital transformation. If you'd like to become an AI architect or a cloud architect or a security architect or an enterprise architect, join us for a free architecture webinar. We hold architecture webinars every week where we go over various architecture roles like a cloud architect or a security architect. We talk about what we do. We talk about the skills you'll need to get hired for one of these roles. And we do these live and free on Zoom so you can ask any career questions and we'll do anything we can to assist you on our free architecture webinars. You can sign up for any the free architecture webinars. The link is in the description of this video. While you're in the description of this video, we have many free guides to assist you in your technology career. So please sign up for some. They'll be emailed to you and they're completely free. If you've enjoyed this video, maybe give it a bit of like, uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your technology career, specifically your architecture career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I look forward to seeing you in another video or a free webinar. Take care.